Hello everybody. Oh, it must be week 12. What's going on? We're almost finished the program amidst all this COVID craziness. And this is a particularly beautiful, calm evening down here, just down from where I live. It's beautiful and it makes me feel really reflective, honestly. We've come through so much in a few weeks now. We've, I hope that somehow you've managed to find some sort of routine amidst all of this, this kind of new normal, if you will. And I think about what we're doing with our Run Walk program. It's so important, never been more important, that we are active, that we move our physical bodies for our minds, for our hearts, and for our physical side of things. Perhaps most important of all is here and here so that we can feel good about our days. And I'm speaking from a place of totally understanding what we're all doing. I'm in my house, I'm on my computer. I've got to move in order to feel good about the day. Exercise is truly medicine. And our leaders and our coordinators out there, oh my gosh, I thank you for providing this messaging to all of your participants at a time when we can't meet as a group. And we're doing our best out there in our corners to be completing the program, hopefully physical distancing from each other, doing it on your own or maybe with a family member that's you know healthy and that you're used to being around. And we're, we're boosting our immune systems. We are doing what we can to feel good. And you know what? It's a huge undertaking what we're trying to accomplish here, right? Your fitness and health starts right here. Our families health and fitness and wellness also starts here. Same with our communities and yep, I'm philosophical. It goes out to the world at large. Me, I was an Olympian, you know that. Positive visualization is everything, everything. It was back then, you don't win races unless you can visually see yourself doing that. Visualize yourself feeling strong, confident, fit, healthy, along with your family members and staying upbeat because I know that, that that's what happens when you move, when you physically move. So see that as what we need to do. You're setting an example. We try to do our best and that extends out into the universe at large. And we have a vision of health throughout the province. You're all by yourself somewhere within the within BC but you can imagine that way far up north someone just like you is doing exactly the same thing and we're doing it for the same reasons so oh I'm imploring you find a way to stick to this program and right now we have two weeks and as your coach we are trying Jenny my colleague our program manager we're trying to find ways that we can support you through this so Next week, we'll have another kind of a Zoom webinar slash Q&A with my dear friend, Larry Burke. You know Larry, he's our habit shift expert. Expert, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I'm passionate, okay, I am. I'm excited because he's wonderful. He puts the cognitive side to what it means to stay motivated with your run walk program, with activities, with life at large. So join us next week on Tuesday and there'll be details around that. Now, we're two weeks away from realizing our 10K goal. Maybe you're a little bit behind. Maybe you haven't done all the sessions and that's okay. Just jump in where you need to be. Be honest about how much you've completed and it's not too late to say, oh, I haven't done anything for a week. That's okay. Move to where in the program it makes sense for you to be. And we have a virtual event all set up through Try Events. It's called You Are Not Alone Virtual 10K. And you've heard about it maybe if you've been reading your emails. But now Jenny has, we've got the team set up and you can register. Uh, as of today, I think we have some 60 people registered, which is actually pretty impressive. So get on that website. All you have to do is plunk your name in and find our Sport Med BC team. We can share photos. We'll make it so that you can, we'll have a contest actually 
a draw prize for the photos and you'll be eligible for a draw prize. We'll make it fun. And honestly, for people that truly are remote and can't get to big events, this is a really great option, COVID aside. Okay, so let's go with the virtual event. And right now, two weeks away, you know that we'll have programming afterwards to support you as well. So what are my last bit of notes here? You know what, folks? On the day that you're intending to get out there for your run walk, put your gear on in the morning. Decide on the time that you're gonna go. Maybe even call a friend and say, you know what, call me, let's do this. So 10 minutes before you're ready to go and you call each other and you're accountable to each other. And then you step outside the door, even if you've got other things you need to be doing. Just step outside the door for you, for your family and for your community. Take those first steps, do some dynamic movement, start walking outside, <sighs> breathe the fresh air and the rest will happen. Your workout will happen in the way that's right for you. All right, week 12, do it. Let's do this together.